Russia, the largest country in the world, has 11 time zones. France, a much smaller country, has 12. Nepal has only one time zone, and it's 15 minutes ahead of neighbor in India and 15 minutes behind another neighbor Bangladesh. So why do some countries have more time zones than others, and just how are time zones decided anyway? An 1884 international conference in Washington, D.C., recognized Greenwich as a prime meridian and agreed on 24 geographical time zones along degrees longitude. But these geographical time zones aren't universally accepted, and basically every country just picks and chooses its own time zones. France has stuck to its geographical 12 time zones. Its overseas territories span the globe. The sun literally never sets on France. On the other hand, China spans five geographical time zones, but the government set just one time zone for the entire country, Beijing Standard Time. That means that for many people living in the western provinces of China, sunrise can be at 10 a.m. Venezuela's president Nicolas Maduro unilaterally changed his country's time in 2016. His reasoning? Saving electricity amid an economic crisis. Russia has 11 time zones because its territory stretches from the Baltic Sea to the Sea of Japan. So people in Vladivostok mm. wake up when people in Kaliningrad are only going to bed. Crimea switched from Eastern European time to Moscow's time zone after Russia illegally annexed it in 2014. Spain and Britain are roughly on the same longitude. So why does Spain still use Central European time, the same time zone used as far east as Poland? Well, in the 1930s, Spain's fascist dictator Francisco Franco changed the country's clocks to match those in Berlin, in an apparent attempt to appease the German chancellor. And they just never bothered to change them back. Some academics have suggested alternatives to having many different time zones. What we're proposing is that the world should all adopt uh, universal time, Greenwich Mean Time, so that everyone in the world would look at the clock. Right now, it would be the same, every place, and it would be Greenwich Mean Time. But as we know, global cooperation can be really complicated, and old habits die hard.